you first told me your name I didn't hear a word you said Bet it was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end John Michael, first and foremost I want to start by saying I love you I'd like to start out and say thank you for loving me Today is the day that I have always dreamt of, and you are the man I have always prayed for. I thank God every day for placing you in my life and putting us together to become one. God answered my prayers when he brought me you. He knew exactly what I needed and when I needed it. Our journey together has just begun, and I can't wait for what, ha what God has in store for us. I promise to love you and cherish you from this moment until my last. I choose you today, I choose you tomorrow, and I choose you for the rest of my life. I don't know. Where this road leads All I know Is I want to go with you In a life where there's No sure things I am sure I want to live it with you place to be no one's waiting for me i won't lie i'm into you got like a million ideas what we could do because i'm not gonna let you slip away i won't waste this there's something about the way you fix your eyes on me i can't help myself fall in love i go crazy uh, uh, uh. what you wanna do now should we head back to my place I've never met a more kind person and always has a smile on his face and laughs about any situation he's in. He is best friends with anyone he crosses paths with and I'm proud not only to be his best friend through life but his best man on this day. John, I approve. I'm so grateful for you taking care of my sister and being the guy you are. I have no doubts about who my sister married. I could not imagine her with anyone else or a better guy. As for Nikayla, I know she's on point and very smart in a lot of aspects of life and will do great in providing for John for many years to come. I can 100% say you're gonna be a great mother and wife, especially considering you've taken care of me most of my life and still are. I am so beyond happy for you. You deserve this and all the happiness that is gonna come with being married. Yeah, in all seriousness, John and Nikayla, they balance each other perfectly. John is fun, laid back, and has a huge heart. Nikayla is smart, focused, and compassionate. I guess I'm okay with you being my brother, and I will also have bigger shoulders than you one day, so just wait, okay? <laughs> Congratulations. There's another way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy. I want to welcome you today to the, this wedding ceremony of John and Michaela. This marriage is a sacred commitment and never to be entered into lightly. At the same time, it is a source of great joy and delight. God instituted marriage at the very beginning when he said, the Lord said, it is not good that man should be alone. And he said, I will make a helpmate for you. So this is the joy to walk through life with the soulmate. The vows you're about to take before God and family are solemn vows. They are not to be broken. It is your vows you are committing to each other that you are not your own. You now belong to the other. John, do you understand and accept this responsibility and do you promise 
to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do, yes. Nikayla, do you understand and accept this responsibility, and do you promise to your very best each day to create a loving, happy, and, and uh, healthy marriage? The bride and groom have chosen to say their own vows. John, you may start first. I'd like to start out and say thank you for loving me. Thank you for coming into my life when I least expected it and making me the best me. Thank you for putting up with all the crazy stuff I do and taking care of me when things go wrong. From dirt biking to mountain bikes to drift cars to hospital trips, you have been my side holding my hand through everything. From the first time I met you, from the first time we hung out, I knew you were special. I think after the first two weeks of hanging out, I told Mitchell, I think I found my wife. <laughs> John Michael, first and foremost, I want to start by saying I love you. <laughs> Today is the day that I've always dreamt of, and you are the man I've always prayed for. A man of grace, ambition, strength, and loyalty. God answered my prayers when he brought me you. He knew exactly what I needed and when I needed it. And I couldn't be any more certain with the love and respect that I have for you. And I know we would not be standing here today without the love and support of our family and friends. From the moment you picked me up in your mom's car, <laughs> the first night that we met, I knew you were the one for me. And from that day on, we have been inseparable. These last few years, I have had some difficult obstacles come my way. From moving to a new town, starting and almost graduating college, to working full time and learning every step of the way. Without a doubt, you were there every second to put a smile on my face and push me to be the best version of myself and to never give up on my dreams. The spark I have for you and how much love I have for you compares to nothing else. I thank God every day for placing you in my life and putting us together to become one. You are my greatest blessing. While I could think of all of the cute things I could promise you, I know that I am imper I'm an imperfect person and I could not possibly do all of those things all of the time. But what I can promise is that I will love you every single day in all of the ways that I know how. And I know what a gift it is to have your love. As I hold the hands of my best friend <laughs> and my life partner, I promise to stand by you. We will go through many peaks and many valleys. I promise to stand by you in the valleys. I promise to challenge you. I promise to make you laugh when your life is not going too seriously. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to put you first and always be by, always be by your side no matter what, however life takes us. To make the most of every moment, to make you feel safe and seen. I promise I will always keep you laughing because I love the sound of your laugh. <laughs> and to share my heart and my soul with you. You understand me, you accept me in a way no one else has, and I believe no one else can. I promise to push you to be your best self and to never give up on you. You are my soulmate, you are my best friend, and now you are my wife. I promise to love you and cherish you from this moment until my last. Thank you, God, for putting this woman in my life, and thank you for loving me unconditionally. To grow alongside of you, but to never grow up to fall deeper in love with you each and every day. I promise you my forever and always. Our journey together has just begun and I can't wait for what, ha what God has in store for us. I choose you today, I choose you tomorrow, and I choose you for the rest of my life. I love you. I've just been fortunate to be with both of them for the last couple of years, traveling around, in the motorhome, spending a lot of time together, traveling with Nikayla. But one of the things that I really noticed was that Nikayla always would just take John, they'd go to the line, they'd hold each other's hands, and they'd pray. And I just just watched that as a dad and all these different things that, you know, when, when they talk about taking care of each other, I mean, she's been there. She's picked them up off the ground. She's been in the emergency room with them for, you know, days. And, you know, they have that awesome relationship. So this marriage as a dad and witnessing all this stuff, I just, I'm so pleased that, you know, I didn't lose a son, I gained a daughter. People have been asking me, are you surprised? Are you shocked? I mean, can you believe this? And I'm like, yeah, I can believe it because they're such a natural soulmate. They're, they're like one together. They read each other, they can look at each other and they just know what they're thinking and they're just the perfect couple. I couldn't be more delighted. 
for them to be together and for our families for our families to be one as well i love you guys so much and i'm so proud of you and i can't wait to see what you do in the future <laughs>